If you guys are like many scuba divers, after you complete that open water certification, you're gonna take some hard earned dollars and go purchase yourself some new scuba gear. Might buy yourself a regulator set, a BCD, a computer, whatever it may be, do you know how to maintain it and how to clean it properly after a dive? On today's show, we're gonna talk about some of the top tips that we can give you on how to clean your regulator set and your BCD to keep them in perfect working order for many years after you spent that hard earned dollar on it. Welcome to Everything Scuba. Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to Everything Scuba. I am Lyle. If you're a first time viewer to our channel, we're glad you found us. We are here talking about the sport that we love and we hope you do too. So if you love to scuba dive, dive into everything scuba. Hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you join us for our weekly shows. So uh, on this episode, we are going to talk about the top tips that we can give you to take care of your gear after a dive. If you're like most divers, over the years you've maybe put together a nice setup that you want to keep in good working order, but most importantly, that gear needs to be functional and well-maintained, and after all, it's keeping you alive underwater. So, we're gonna spend some time at Sweet Bottom Dive Center, who are a busy dive center. They have a lot of rental gear, and they have a very nice system of how they break down their gear and clean it appropriately and make sure it is in great work and order for the next client that's going to use it. And so we're gonna meet Jackie, Jackie Witchman. Jackie is an IDC staff instructor down there uh, and she's gonna walk us through their process. Obviously this is salt water diving, but everything that she does certainly pertains to fresh water diving too. Uh, fresh water may be a little kinder to your gear than that salt water would be, but every step that she takes here would work for you as a freshwater diver. Let's join Jackie. Great, thanks Lyle, glad to be here. Show everyone how we clean gear. First thing we wanna do is make sure to spray off anything that has sand on it because we don't wanna get a lot of sand in our dunk tanks. Otherwise it kind of defeats the purpose of cleaning it all. Um, while the system is still pressurized, you can do this either turned on or turned off, but before you purge the system, we like to take the hose and just knock the salt water off of all the moving parts and pieces. So we like to get um, everything real good here on the first stage. And the reason why we want to leave it pressurized is to make sure that water doesn't come back up through the system. If for some reason um, water would come back up the system, it could um, harm your regulator in your first stage. So we like to leave it pressurized just while we clean us, this to ensure that the water doesn't come back up. Yeah. Um, we also like to knock the salt water off here. And while I have the hose in my hand, I also like to fill water into the BCD. Um, the reason for this is, especially with salt water, um, if the salt water dries, it, it can crystallize inside the BCD bladder and could actually puncture it. Um, obviously, it would take a lot of buildup for that to happen, but we want to make sure from the start that we don't get any buildup. So we like to keep it uh, nice and clean inside and out. We all kind of forget how abrasive salt really is, right? Right, exactly. Yeah, there's a lot of things we do here in salt water that back in the Midwest we didn't need to do because um, it was fresh water back there. Um, cleaning the inside of the bladder is part of that, obviously knocking the sand off. Um, and for instance, we don't use steel tanks here because steel is, right. gets very corroded. All, all aluminum 80s pretty much that we're using and diving here. Yep. yep. So the next thing, again, while it's still pressurized, like to just run water through both the primary regulator and the osco. Okay. At this point, we can now turn the system off. Purge it. Go ahead and unscrew the regulator. Now all, all of your dry the dust cap. But the big things here, guys, that you'll notice is they are not going to put their first stage underwater at all. Okay. You're gonna rinse it off, dry off that cap, clean off any salt yep. from around it. And now we've got soapy water. Now they've been dunked in fresh water, nice and clean. 
And now, you guys do yeah. one additional thing, right? We do. Um, what we do is sterilize it. Okay. So prior to finalizing the uh, cleaning process, we're going to, uh, Jackie's going to use an agent. So, so this is Steramine. It's actually an industrial strength cleaner and um, disinfectant that we use on all of our regulators, all of our masks, and also on your BCD where you orally inflate it. So for um, you geeks out there, this is what we call a quaternary ammonia product, but it's food safe. You can use it on your regulators, anything you're gonna put in your mouth, and it doesn't have to be dried off. We just nope. hang it up and let them dry with the steramine on there, correct? Yep, we spray it, Okay. and then we hang it up. Cool. So another thing we do with our BCDs, so after, after it's been rinsed off, it's been filled with water, swish it around so the water gets nice and moved around inside to help clean it out. Take it from the soapy, put it in the dry. Then we take it, we hold it upside down. We both pull on this to get water out of this port and press the button here to get water out, to drain all the water out of it. Riveting. So guys, <laughs> remember we got multiple ways that we can take air out of our BCD. We can uh, come out of our deflator hose just using that deflation button. Some hoses will allow you to quick pull release on it. You've also got a couple other dump valves, usually yep. on your right shoulder and right hip. While it's upside down, right I like hip. to grab this one. And then once I hang it up. So once we hang it up, we like to do two things. One, we like to loosen all of the moving parts and pieces to the widest point. And what that does is just help keep it from sticking in one spot. So it helps keep the buckles adjustable rather than stuck. And the second reason we like to do that is um, it's ready for the next guest. So it's already to the widest. We can put it on them and then just buckle it up and then tighten it down. Right. Um, after we hang it up, I always tilt it to the side and use a stump valve here to drain any more water that might be in it. I've learned that with the um, jacket style BCDs, there usually isn't water left in there after we turn it upside down, but with the back end plate BCDs, always need to flip it to the side right. and drain what, what's left there. And do you add a little bit of air back into your BCD sometimes just to separate the, the bladder? A away? little bit, yeah. Okay. And I want to thank Jackie for showing us how to do it. My pleasure. All right. Thanks, Happy Jackie. diving. Hey, a big thanks to Jackie for giving us a great breakdown on how they take care of their gear there at Sweet Bottom Dive Center. A uh, few things to take away from this. Number one, leave your system pressurized when you're flushing those second stage regulators uh, where you're not going to get the chance of water backing up uh, through the hoses into your first stage. When you take your first stage off after you've rinsed it thoroughly, clean off the dust cover, put everything back on. Don't dunk that first stage. Don't take a chance that you're going to flood the first stage. That's an expensive uh, problem to fix. Uh, with your BCD, flush all the ports once you've filled it, uh, making sure that everything is going to be nice and clean going forward. And then lastly, the use of that steramine. Steramine is a food safe disinfectant. Uh, we've been using it for quite some time now in the era of COVID. And also if you're a rental company where you're giving gear to uh, other divers, you really want to make sure that that's thoroughly disinfected. So I'm going to drop a link down below for the steramine. You can purchase that online. Uh, some local dive centers even carry that product now too. So uh, stick around for some more great content.